Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Adi Achint. Now, there is a very funny fact check that I'd like to do with this video because the Chinese, as usual, are at it pretty hardcore with their psychological propaganda against India. There is a latest news story that came out which talks about the dean of the School of International Relations in Renmin University of China, who's called Jin Kanrong. He made a claim on a TV program on the 11th of November that the Chinese had used directed energy weapons against the Indian forces lodged up on the heights against the Chinese forces in Ladakh. This attack supposedly happened on the 29th of August. There is a video clip from this program which is pretty much going viral on social media and I've seen recently it's just started trending on Twitter in India as well. This talks about Chinese military and its innovative adma advancements and the use of high-powered microwave weapons. And it talks about dislodging the Indian soldiers from the heights of various strategic points in the clash between both the armies in the areas or various regions of Ladakh. He said this and I quote, Our military emitted microwaves from the base of the mountain towards the mountain peak where the Indian soldiers were taking positions, converting it into an oven which, is, which resulted the Indian soldiers quickly withdrawing from the dominating positions he claims in the program. <clears throat> First of all, let me just explain what is this microwave weapon that they are talking about. This is a weapon which is in the category of the Directed Energy Weapons or DEWs which is a ranged weapon that damages target with highly focused energy of various kinds for example laser, microwaves, particle beams, sound, so on and so forth. Potential applications of this technology currently are being used in anti-shipping, anti-missile and anti-aircraft roles. The United States supposedly has developed certain weapons which are or can be directed towards human beings using high frequency sound waves which make people a bit uncomfortable. These are very highly sensitive things and I don't think anybody in the world will actually come out and say that these are the kind of weapons that they, were, they are developing. There was another conspiracy theory that went around the place talking about the American diplomats that were targeted with these weapons in Cuba and the Americans had to literally run away from there because of Russian influence in that region. Well, there were many other reasons for those American diplomats to run away and this was in the 1970s. So I'm not sure how much of these weapons were developed and if they were developed in 1970s, why aren't they wide in the open as of now? Couple of points that I'd like to bring about to fact check the psychological warfare propaganda business of the, the Chinese Communist Party. I think they do it pretty well. Here are some fact checks which the good professor ignored before he opened his mouth and gave out statements that he had no business to talk about. The first one, he says that this attack happened on the 29th of August. Well, there are reports which say that on the 10th of September, the 17th of September and the 21st of September, India took in more heights and occupied more territory in the strategic locations in Ladakh. So if these weapons were used on the 29th of August, how is it that the Indian forces have gone up and occupied more heights? Aren't the Indian forces scared of these weapons? I don't know, either the Indians have some sort of a, a immunity to these weapons or the Chinese are pretty much lying, for the lack of a better word. Secondly, it surely has something to say about the timing of this event. As a matter of fact, Indians have been very very hard bent on their demands for the Chinese to move back from their positions and give the rights to the Indian soldiers to patrol the areas that they were doing for so long. The Chinese, of course, have been begging the Indian command at the core commander level talks which are happening pretty much every second week to vacate the heights as they are feeling vulnerable about their forces position in those areas. Now it begs the question, if the Chinese have these kind of weapons, why can't they dislodge all the Indian forces in that area? The liberal media across the world and the biggest of the big newspaper names which I'm sure all of us know right now are the biggest publishers of fake news in this world have caught on to this story. And of course, India bashing is one of their favorite habits. That is why these things are featuring on pretty much their first pages and everything. I'd like to ask them one simple question. If the Chinese have used these kind of weapons, which are microwave weapons, and of course, this professor actually talks about the fact that the hilltops were converted into microwave ovens. That's why the Indian soldiers were feeling so hot and nauseatic and they had to run away. These hilltops right now in the month of November are pretty much covered with thick layers and layers of snow. When you fire a directed microwave weapon on towards such a target, won't the snow melt? Won't the guy sitting at the bottom of the mountain 
literally be drowned with the water that comes out of the smelting ice seems a little unlikely for the Chinese to figure out something like this and a professor sitting in Beijing which is almost 3000 kilometers away from this entire region talking about something like this just to create some false propaganda within their country. By now I think we all understand how the CCP works and how their propaganda mouthpieces come out and talk utter nonsense that cannot even be believed by their own people. I'd like to also further ask the liberal media of the world, why don't they check the timelines? If the attack, as I said, happened on the 29th of August, why is it that they published the facts that the Indian forces went up and took strategic heights in Ladakh on the 7th, 10th, 17th and 21st of September? It's there in their newspapers. Please check it out. You will not be able to ask them because they have no answers for something like this. They just want to harp about the fact that the Indian soldiers are getting lost, which is something I feel is their favorite pastime. Doing India bashing gives them a lot of votes because at the end of it, today India is a rising superpower and they just cannot see that happening. This gentleman also said that India has no such weapons that can even counter China on this. Well, let me tell you the deployment of this weapon. It is a large weapon, requires almost 12,000 liters of oil storage for its energy building capability. It requires a lot of sustained environment for it to be deployed in those particular regions. And I'm sure that is something that the Indian intelligence would have caught on to if we knew what their movements were across the border and we took preventive actions to make sure that the Chinese could not be in advantageous positions. You think the Indian forces are that stupid not to realize something like this? Now, directed energy weapons are also being developed in India. It is called the Kali, K-A-L-I, which is the Kilo Ampere Linear Injector. It is a linear electron accelerator being developed in India by the uh, DRDO as well as the Baba Atomic Research Center which is the BARC. It is a directed energy weapon which is being used in such a way to stop enemy missiles because if you look at the threat towards India from both the sides is basically missile threats which is being given time and again. So Indians have actually worked on a technology that can stop missiles before they actually enter the country like lasers which have been popularly shown in a lot of movies these directed energy weapons do not bore a hole into the, into the missile, but literally fry the electronic systems in that missile, which renders it useless. These weapons and their development across the world have been done to ensure that it fries up the electronic devices that are being used, the circuit boards in those devices that are being used by various armies and to render them useless for use against their opposition. There are various versions of this Kali which is at Kali 80, Kali 200, Kali 1000, Kali 5000 and Kali 10,000. Supposedly these weapons are top secret, not much details are known about them and one of the only new snippets that I could find around was Kali 5000 has been deployed in the year 2004. There is also an unconfirmed report which states that India had actually tried the use of this particular weapon sometime in 2012, melting a huge amount of ice in the Siachen Glacier resulting in the death of about 135 Pakistani soldiers deployed in that area. As I mentioned before, when you fire a microwave based weapon, it will melt anything in its path. Now, it is a wonder that this Chinese so-called professor comes out and says that they have developed a weapon that can only target human beings and nothing else. It does not affect anything else. He mentioned very clearly that it was a microwave weapon that was targeted. I really beg to understand what kind of education this professor would be providing to his students and what kind of information that the Chinese are coming up and putting in front of their people and how do they actually buy that nonsense. It is also a true testament of the fact when the Chinese are going to put out such propaganda, such stupid lies about what they are doing, it just shows how desperate the China man is to make sure that he is somehow able to take an advantage over India. It's not going to happen, Mr. China man. It's not going to happen. I just have one last thing to say, as I say in all my videos, share a thought for our soldiers standing in the battle lines in night and day, in the land, sea and the air, once a day, every day. Jai Hind!